All right. Here we go. Starting off a, a video just to kind of catch up everyone on today's copy trading and exactly what it is, the uh, progress, some of the issues. And, uh, you know, actually, I think we did good progress today. I did come in today really focused on the copy trader. And for, for, the, for the weirdest reason, we had the weirdest market today until the end of the day. It really was just a choppy market with no divergences. So I just question the room. What's the difference between the Zell Alerts and the Copy Trade Project? I call it a Copy Trade Project because we're just starting it out and it's kind of in a beta thing. I'm getting people hooked up to it. We're making, we're kind of getting through, you know, the connection problems and making sure everyone's on board. Um, and that's been doing that a couple of weeks now. So I would like to, uh, you know, to this week really focus on it a lot more. Today I came into it thinking every, we're going to test it out really good. There was really no divergences, and the, and the purpose of the copy trade. Well, let's go back. Let's start off with the Zello alerts. The Zello alerts, as you know, are um, these are future alerts that are because I think that it's too fast to post alerts in the trade alert box for futures. You know, to get an email, to open up an email, to look at the chart and everything. These are instantaneous instantaneous alerts that are come over your phone as a walkie-talkie so you download the Zello you set it up as I have it set up you know you do a search for myself day trader rockstar add me I'll add you then do a search for futures trade alert network add that if you're a member of day trading radio if you're not a member of day trading radio you could still get this but you have to go over to day trading you have to go to patreon.com forward slash day trading radio <coughs> And um, this is where you sign up for that, and then it's a it's a you know it's a push talk thing, and it comes over your it comes right over your phone, and it's it's awesome. And I don't abuse it. I don't want to abuse it. I only want to take the best setups, and those best setups could be up until about 9:30 at night. So that's what the Zello alerts are doing. I love that. I think that's really successful. I think everyone enjoys it. Keeps you in touch. It really is. I think innovative for. Our show, I'm the first person to kind of figure out to do these things here. Maybe there's probably other ways that people do it, you know, telegraph and stuff. But I, I think this is an excellent uh, form. So now, and again, th those those alerts are going to be for what we call high probability super signals. Meaning, I, again, I'm not going to just go out and zello out each time we have a you know, a, a, a trend line or a VWAP to be in touch. It has to be a combination. It has to be a pure HPS. You know, it has to be a quad rotation divergence. It has to be a coiled quad. It has to be, you know, a, a combination of uh, what we consider super, a must-take trade. It's a must-take trade. So the trade's going to come with the entry, the, uh, you know, entry, the stop, and, uh, market conditions around that and I'm going to try to push out targets too when I get to those targets so like today's um so we had a do we have one or two to say let me see what we had today oh my god I gotta fix that um I really do like the Zello alerts a lot All right. We actually let's see here. All right, traders. It is uh, a few minutes before twelve o'clock, eleven fifty-five. This is eleven fifty-five. We're entering a quad rotation zone at forty-nine sixty, forty-nine sixty, but we're very close to the lows of the session. The market has been sideways. There has been no divergent setups. This was a this was actually kind of a test market. And I just want to make sure people understood if we're just waiting for stuff. Could be tested soon, so I'm going to hold off and probably take a little lunch here. So that was just that wasn't much there. Uh, right here at 49.60, stop should go under low today, which is 49.57, but it's it's because of news. News is out. So this is um, this was a nice divergence right here. Um. This was another diver divergence setup right here. We called out. Um, and they had a nice pop on that somewhere around there. But anyway, that's what the Zello alerts are for. The um, 
Yellow yeah. alert for those active active trades. You get get you there fast, get you in fast, get you out fast. The um, the copy trade is using Replicant Replicanto Flowbots Replicanto copying software. It enables you to connect an account your account to my account. So I'm doing a uh, a copy trading thing where we're gonna let the Rockbot take the trades the last couple of weeks it's just been dead on with the, you know the market and stuff but I decided to take control over that and just just to send out pure divergences on the copy trader I didn't want the volatility because the uh, the rock bot or the super signal script you know I, I kind of turned that off when we're in a downward you know trending market because it's really a buy side uh, indicator or buy side uh, bot really works well in the you know so you have to know when to use that you can't just blatantly use it again going against the grain you have to tighten your parameters up you have to be different you have to have everything has to be different when you use it in the downward trending market so the copy trading is connected to my apex uh, my bullinox account and um, and I'm taking the, just divergences just a uh, high level divergences um, so people can connect their accounts to that and be be comfortable with you know and the object is to kind of make a few hundred dollars a day on the MES but you have the option to switch over from MES and ES so if we're up 40 you could be up 400 you know it's just the setups are very very good um, so and you could connect you, you know you connect your evaluation account using the Replicanto software to my machine or you give me your your code I connect my machine to your machine and that's all you you turn it on in the morning and when I take trades those trades get placed on your chart automatically they get placed right on your chart right now we have probably I have let me see I want to count them out because it looks like we have over 20 one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I think we have 29 people connected to this <laughs> holy crap I'm, I'm trading up to five MESs unless I really see a pure textbook you know set up great divergence everything great I would go in on the ES again this is rec recommended and only I only really want evaluation accounts on there uh, it's managed it's not an automated bot so it's just managed so it is it does uh, uh, you know qualify for a, a managed account that's no problem and like I said you could you could diff, do different things on your uh, replicant you could switch these over here um, if you your follower an account this is how you're going to set it up you're going to make sure that you're on you right click on this you want to make sure it's on remote node internet and you have to make sure this is clicked and whatever account you want to follow it could be a sim account it could be a live account it could be you know uh, I mean a, a, a prop account it could be a sim account you could test it and over here you could cross order you could change the MES to ES and make any trades that come across go in as an ES so like I said I'm just trading the MES and if we're doing 40 to $100 you know a day on a trade that could be 400 to a thousand dollars a day and that's not hard to do with these trades you know because they're all divergences so I'm just taking these the plan is to take only the divergences high probability divergences 40 to a hundred dollar trades do three or four of them a day you switch it over if you feel comfortable on the ES and then you're taking the ES It'll trade in any account that you hook up that you're using on uh, NinjaTrader. 
but I don't want to, you know, I'm not responsible for anybody's account. I don't want anybody to trade the real money, and you know, that is my disclaimer. I don't know if the market's going to crash or the things go wrong with the with the copier. It doesn't go through. You're in trades that it goes. You know, I've heard things like things could go wrong with copy traders. You could, you know, just find yourself in uh, a lockup or too many trades being placed and it get or cashed up and it just went berserk. I just hear that. Yeah, it works for Ninja Trader account. It works in Rhythmic, Ninja Trader, Trading, Trading View, and Trading Vate, Trade Ovate. That's why it works so good with the prop accounts because the prop accounts give you a Ninja Trader account. That's what it's supposed to be for. Today's uh, market was uh, very, what shall we say? Uh, again, I was I was really on t on on the market early this morning. If we could see what was going on here, we kind of came down to our flag. It was a nice flag. It was a, a kind of a, it wasn't a good divergence here. We were flat line, so I was worried about these series of bearish flags. So we didn't make any calls here. Um, there was no setup there, just kind of carrying that trend line. Again, I'm only taking the divergences on that prop account. That was close to a, a, a double, you know, close to kind of a triple bottom here. That was a sell side there. I think we talked about it, but didn't do anything on it. And then, um, what was here? Something going on here at 12 o'clock. I don't know what it was. Oh, I was, I was going over the one, two, three pattern. So it was like, oh, you know, one a pivot, pivot, and then a top pivot here. And then we came back down. We came all the way back down. After we broke down, pulled back, tested it. Came back down again, tested it, and then eventually came all the way back down again and tested it. A couple of flags. But that was the only coil today. That was a kind of a decent coil, but it was, again, didn't know which, you know, wasn't a divergence. And we didn't get really oversold here, so borderline on that. But we did take a couple of good trades here today just to test it, test it out. I think one was after this coil. It was probably right here at the end of the day, and there was one earlier. very highly confident on the copy trader plan working out it's just trying to get everything up and running with this but I, I feel like it's going to be a, a no-brainer on this so I'm going to figure out the next steps to it we just got to make sure everyone's up on board and, and getting going because you know waiting for these divergences and seeing these when these things set up it's just going to be pushing the button and, and it's not going to be an issue at all um, we don't have, you know, I just want to make that criteria really strict so you know that we're not being rushed into everything, anything. I don't want to be rushed into anything. Everything is going to have detail, is going to be defined in a perfect manner. Yeah, that was that one, two, three pattern. Um, and then way up here, I don't want to put a circle there. I'm not supposed to put any circle after the fact. Um, Right now we have the overnight trade, not much going on. All right, so um, we'll send that out. Let's just stop this video and hopefully that'll help some people.